When you live a bit of life, you come across some quite marvelous food over time. Ranging from the smallest to the strangest of food, we are often baffled by how it can taste or smell or look. On that note, take a look at this bizarre list and see if you can fathom how half of this is even possible. From yellow skinned berries that are used in milkshakes to yellow vegetables that could fuel cars, here are 15 foods that originally looked totally different. Number 15. Pies weren't sweet, fruity, or even edible. Pastry, such as pies and cakes, had also been known as coffins in the Middle Ages. Probably because you would have never known what was in them and what could kill you. They had hard crusts and were filled with everything and anything you could think of. And if you can't see what you're eating, it's not bad, is it? We all love baked goods as well. Depending on the size of the crust, the cake was completely filled in with whatever could be found. A fun fact, living birds and frogs were used to produce pies, among other things, unknown, bizarre, and morally questionable products that will never be truly known. You can fill a pie with many large pieces that can be cut up and packed in. They are also made from a variety of pastries that can be used to meet the needs of consumers. They are still popular in the United Kingdom and the United States. Even today, when you pay for your pie, make sure it comes from a reputable source, as you never know if any of these tasty pastries can be full of questionable wonders, or worse. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the star topic. The watermelon is a common choice for favorite fruit. These fresh blasts of juicy goodness encapsulate the very essence of tropical vibes. But the ones you have to push down the cliff in Super Mario Sunshine were super annoying. But did you know that they used to look rather different? Way back in 1945, the common watermelon was much smaller. On the left-hand side of this image, you can see what a regular watermelon looks like today. But on the right, you can see how tiny they used to be. Due to quirks of genetics, tiny watermelons still crop up from time to time these days, hence how we're able to get this photo. They don't look that much bigger than grapes. Imagine popping an entire handful of grape-sized watermelons into your mouth. Now that sounds tasty. But the size of the watermelon is not the only way the watermelon has changed. But more about that a little bit later in the video, so hold out if you want more crazy facts about this popular fruit. Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Banana. Today's bananas are very different from the wild bananas of the past. So much so that if you peel any of today's wild fruits from their wild ancestors, you will not enjoy the taste at all. Ahoy. Wild bananas are not good to eat and taste very bad. The fruit comes in many colors and is usually shaped long and curved. When ripe, it can be green, yellow, red, purple, or brown. Like many things in life, the banana appears in very diverse ways. Fortunately for us, the bananas you buy at the grocery store today are hybridized genetically so that humans can enjoy them. They're cultivated and grown into soft, chunky fruits that we all know and love, as opposed to the firm, inedible wild ones. Most of the scientific names of cultivated bananas are called Musa, with many other scientific spin-off names according to genomic makeup. Oddly enough, we may see another change in bananas in the near future as diseases and technology develops. A banana is a tall, edible fruit. Botanically, the banana is actually a berry, which grows from a large variety of large flowered herbs. A very nice banana, anyone? Number 13. Corn. 
corn has come a long way since farmers in Mexico have started choosing the largest and best corn for planting for next season. It sounds kind of corny picking the ripest corn for them. So what we've learned about corn is that uniform emergence is way more important. This first step towards supremacy occurred around 10,000 years ago, and since then it arguably developed very nicely. Some theories have been put forward regarding the domination of edible corn maize, but the most popular is that maize originated as a genetic mutation of a plant called the Teosintes, a grass with a kernel that not only resembles our edible maize, but can cross with today's maize and produce viable offspring. Who would have ordained that corn could copulate? Researchers have found that, despite their differences, there are only five genes that differ between Teosinti and corn. Although the wild Teosin kernels are small and hardy seeds that grow only in long ears of five to seven rows, while corn has lost those hardy seeds and instead has been developed to make them softer. If you hate peeling corn for dinner, imagine breaking the core of hundreds of Teosinti spikes and eating them. That wouldn't be a profitable venture. Number 12. Carrots The first carrots that were known to be cultivated were in Persia and Asia way back in the 10th century. We can only guess that they were probably purple or white originally, but who knows, perhaps they've always been this color. Originally a bizarre, thorny-looking root, it really knew how to get its rocks off. It's considered that they lost their purple pigment and changed to a yellow and orange-hued color instead. Kind of like a permanent hair dye with a makeover. Farmers learned to develop these delicious white roots, which are reminiscent of today's parsnips. They had a strong flavor, which made these delicious large orange roots that are an annual winter crop. The carrots we have today are unrecognizable from their original shape, a recurring concept with all these developing vegetables on Earth. Carrots were first discovered in Persia, and they were predominantly white or purple, and were thin and scrawny. The root was bitter and slightly acquired. After years of selective breeding, carrots have become larger and less bitter. Number 11. Tomato Tomatoes have come a long way circularly along the vines of time, haven't they? First, the natives of South America grew wild, blueberry-sized tomatoes about 7,000 years ago to reproduce a cherry-sized fruit plant that came in a variety of colors – yellow, green, and purple. Isn't it interesting how many fruits started as berries? From the tomato forest plant to the home staple, the development of the tomato is more complicated than travelers had long thought. Over the years, through selective breeding, the characteristics of their fruits had radically changed, and breeders have been able to use emerging and diverse plants to make grown tomatoes more attractive to consumers. When farmers finally got their prized cherry tomatoes, we started to see signs that some species in this intermediate group have properties that promote disease and drought resistance. From there, he began developing modern tomatoes by picking the largest tomatoes each season. Due to too much genetic manipulation, modern tomatoes have lost a lot of natural sugar, so it's not as sweet and aromatic as before. It does have lecithin, though, which is incredible for the health of your cells and blood. Number 10. Eggplant over the course of its history, eggplants have appeared in a multitude of forms and colors, ranging from the strangest of types. Primitive variants used to have spiky thorns linking the stem to the flowers. Eggplants also used to be a wild nightshade. Eggplants are similar to onions, chili, and potatoes. But they are the new kids in the house. And believe it or not, they are not related to eggs, but rather to nightshade. Some of the first eggplants to have been produced were in China. Selective breeding got rid of the thorns and brought us a bigger, more familiar, elongated purple vegetable you can find in most grocery stores. Fun fact, they can also be hard-boiled in soft eggplants. 87% of the world's eggplants have been made up of China and India lately. Most often, the purple, porous, absorbent fruit is used in multiple kitchens. It's very widely used by chefs as a cooking vegetable. Eggplants are low in macronutrients and micronutrients, but the fruit's ability to absorb oils and flavors into its pulp while cooking expands its uses in cooking. Eggplant burger, anyone? Number 9. Cucumber 
It's hard to believe that modern cucumbers are somehow related to the original wild cucumbers of old, as the original cucumbers were small and had huge spikes protruding from them. It's not recommended storing up a lot of wild cucumbers unless you plan to throw them around with piercing results. Although cucumbers originate in South Asia, they're currently growing on most continents due to the large variety of cucumbers traded on the world market. In North America, wild cucumber refers to trees but they are not closely related. It's in the same family as the cucumber, so closely related, but it's an inedible. Cucumber was cultivated medicinally in India. There were four large seeds inside, and the wild cucumber had very little substance to it nutritionally. There are three main varieties of cucumber, sliced, pickled, and seedless, and several other varieties have been developed. Wild cucumbers are potentially toxic, and it's strange to have the cucumbers we have today. Cucurbitaceae is a commonly cultivated creeper vine of the Cucurbitaceae gourd family, which has bear-like fruits which are used as vegetables. Nevertheless, we can acknowledge and attribute a lot of gratitude to the accumulated past of cucumbers that have been grown and passed around. Number 8. Peaches Peach is a deciduous tree native to northwestern China between the northern slopes of the Tarim Basin and the Kunlun Mountains where it was first grown and domesticated. They were certainly less sweet with earthy and salty ingredients to your liking. Peach production started at least 3,000 years ago and any peach lover should be very grateful for that. We wouldn't have peaches, at least not the way we do today, if the Chinese hadn't started the project all the way back then. Peaches began began their lives with thin, waxy, skinless, cherry-like fruit with little flesh. This precursor to modern peaches is dying out, but this could be considered a good thing since they are now a juicy, edible fruit that many can now enjoy. After that, the peaches were made in Persia. This indicates that it was commonly grown in modern Iran and later transferred to Europe. In its infancy, the peach pits have a remarkably similar flavor to the almond. Number 7. Avocado the fan favorite fruit of the millennium has changed a lot and it's for the better. Avocados are very small in nature and can fit comfortably in the middle of a palm tree, about three inches in diameter. Inside the famous fruit, there's a delicious morsel of nutritious, edible avocado, which contains the famous green pulp of the fruit. For comparison to the avocados of old compared to today's advantageous avocados, it takes about 10 wild avocados to get that much pulp from a single contemporary fruit. What's worse is the small amount of meat in it doesn't taste good. In contrast to the smooth and flavorful features of modern avocado, it has a rugged and bumpy texture. The wild avocado was also wrapped in a rough wrapper, which was slightly different from the new avocado's leathery, fleshy skin, making it harder to prepare and less rewarding also. Fortunately, our ancestors significantly improved this fruit through the use of select breeding, they have allowed us to get this delicious fruit that combines well with toast. Yum. Number 6. Strawberry. When developing the strawberry, people over the course of history have molded fruits and vegetables in order to enhance their taste, much to the satisfaction of the customer. However, in the case of wild strawberry, the reverse occurred, leading to a very bad taste. The wild strawberry, known as Fragaria vesca, tasted sweeter and is considered to be the stronger fruit version. Unfortunately, consumerism seems to care about looks, not quality. The wild strawberries, though, are much smaller than the modern modern one. So why did the modern version of the strawberry lose their flavor? Well, farmers began to favor scale and better presentation, which gradually reduced the flavor of the fruit and disease tolerance. This last one isn't so bad, though. We care about our strawberries, don't we? Garden strawberries are a common hybrid species known as strawberries. Who knew strawberries were called strawberries? The fruit has its usual scent, vivid red shades, juicy texture, and sweetness, and is highly enjoyed. Thankfully, garden strawberries are here to save us from a straw perilous disaster. It is eaten in vast numbers, fresh and ready to eat, such as jelly, juice, desserts, ice cream, milkshakes, and chocolates. The strawberry is not, from a botanical point of view, a berry, which is very weird. Number 5. 
Apples The crab apple is the wild apple of the family Malus. The tree was renowned for its wild relative Malus siaversi in Central Asia. For thousands of years, apples were grown in Asia and Europe and introduced by European colonizers to North America. Subsequently, apples are of religious and mythological importance in many cultures, perhaps because of their accessibility and nutritional impact over the millennia. In terms of flavor and appearance, the original apples were very sour and thin. They weren't always as crisp as our apples today. The modern edition of the apple is sweeter than the original version. It's just a little bit better. Apple trees are massive when grown from seeds. Both are similar and very closely connected, like cousins, but you know, a bit more fruity. The apple is one of our foods that hasn't changed too much because of the environment in which it's grown. Indeed, people wanted the most friendly and sweet crunch, which is what we enjoy today. The flavor was very very refined and sweet. Various cultivars are bred for diverse tastes and use, including frying, drinking raw, and cider making. Making for a very cost-effective and reliable food source, these apples have really applied themselves to human history. Number 4. Marshmallows the ancient Egyptians were the first Egyptians known culture to produce sweets, marshmallow for the noble classes and sacrifices to cultural beliefs. From the 9th century BC onwards, marshmallows were used to produce ointments, lotions, and cures. Around the 19th century, the marshmallows were noticeable and pioneered the prototype marshmallow. In the 1950s, marshmallows were formed in the distinct and iconic form of the marshmallows we know of today. There's been regular output of thousands of pounds of marshmallows. Due to the sweetness and availability of the common commodities that allow us to make many millions of marshmallows in masses. Number 3. Cabbage Cabbage was originally a wild mustard plant. It is now more widely known as wild cabbage. By the Middle Ages, cabbage was a big part of European cuisine. Cabbages have, over time, had a long, curlier, leafy mutation, which they have developed in order to become what we now know as kale. Certain cabbages with greater flowers have been bred, changing into other vegetables. The cabbage is closely related to broccoli and cauliflower. By further breeding and genetic modification, cabbage eventually became came cauliflower, which is white, and broccoli developed a long stem. You could almost call them all an extended family. Cabbage is classed as a biennial herb. It is cultivated as dense, leafy flowers and grows really well in long, sunny days like the summer in higher northern latitudes. It is made from red, purple, white, or light green. Cabbage will grow pretty tall if left unchecked and not harassed by wildlife. The most famous color is cabbage with green, smooth leaves. The purple leaves are also a delight. When a cabbage matures, it forms wonderfully textured, colorful leaves. However, these cabbages sure take up a lot of baggage space at the supermarket. Number 2. Bacon the people of eastern Turkey first lived and ate pigs around 10,000 years ago. Bacon is a dry pork consisting of a number of special cuts that typically decrease the amount of fat in the pork belly or tenderloin. It's only possible to eat as a side dish or additional ingredient in seasonal plates due to the negative health implications of eating such rich fats on a regular basis. There are a few different meanings available for bacon that developed in Old German, such as buttocks, ham, and finally, bacon. It's it's a very complex series of terminologies with some strange ideas behind them. The term bacon doesn't just apply to pigs, however. It's also suitable for roasted animals such as beef, lamb, poultry, goat, or turkey, and can also be used in areas with Jewish and Muslim populations such as turkey bacon, because both religions have prohibited pork. So which bacon do you choose? I guess that's a reckoning you'll have to save for yourself. Just make sure you save your own bacon in the process. Number 1. Watermelon we promised the watermelon would be back before the end of the video. Watermelon is a fruit botanically, and many people love a delicious watermelon. Considering the quality, taste, and nutritional benefits, it's not hard to see why watermelon has developed over the course of history to become a favorite throughout the ages. Watermelon is related to the cucumber, squash, and pumpkin, which is pretty awesome. Watermelons have been native to Africa and have been cultivated since ancient times. The inside of a watermelon is always a refreshing fruit. You want one that 
sounds yeah. like yeah. that. Archaeological remains of melons, mostly seeds, dating from 5,000 years ago have been found in northeastern Africa, which is pretty awesome when you consider that they are now grown around the world. Watermelons have been domesticated for their water content and nutritional benefits for more than 4,000 years. They've also been produced in Mediterranean lands for about 2,000 years. Who knew that water could taste so good when it's combined with melons? Still, it's not hard to see why the watermelon would be developed so much since its foundations. At its ripest, the sweet, succulent taste of the refreshing watermelon is soothing to the senses. What did you think of our 15 foods that originally look totally different? Would you ever eat any of the foods before they became the consumer-friendly foods we enjoy today? Know of any other crazy transformations of food out there? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.